Para sa crust, gagamit tayo ng 1/8 teaspoon of salt, half cup of oats, and 1/3 cup of all-purpose flour. Paghaluin lang natin ang tatlong ingredients. Gagamit tayo ng 37 grams butter, 1 fourth cup of brown sugar, at 1 fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. Haluin lang natin ito in low speed gamit ang mixer. Once okay na ang butter, Gradually add the flour mixture at mix until well combined. Pwede na natin itong ilagay sa ating 6 inches aluminum tray. I-press lang natin ito sa bottom hanggang mag-flatten. Masarap na substitute din ang oatmeal crust sa graham crackers. While waiting for the crust, pwede na nating simulan ang cheesecake filling. Gagamit tayo ng 250 grams cream cheese at half cup of sugar. Using a mixer, haluin natin ito in low speed until well combined. Gagamit din tayo ng two eggs. I-add ito one at a time. Tapos, ihalo na rin natin ang half cup of all-purpose cream. At one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Maglalagay din tayo ng juice from one piece of medium-sized calamansi. Haluin lang natin ito until well combined na ang mga ingredients. Ayan, pwede na natin ilagay ang ating cheesecake filling sa baked crust. But make sure na cool down na ang crust bago ilagay ang filling. Ibibake natin ito sa water bath. Lagyan lang natin ng hot water ang tray at i-fill halfway. Tapos, ibibake natin ito in 200 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, lower the heat to 180 degrees Celsius at i-bake for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, i-off ang oven at hayaan lang sa loob ang cheesecake. Ito na ang ating baked cheesecake. Gagamit tayo ng strawberry fillings para sa toppings. After natin lagyan ng toppings, iti-chill natin ito for 4 hours or overnight. Ito na ang ating strawberry cheesecake. Pwedeng-pwede nyo itong gawin sa bahay or going business idea. Enjoy! Hey mga kapudi! Nagustuhan nyo ba ang recipe na ito? Let us know in the comment section below. Hit like if you enjoy this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga latest release namin. Until next time, this is Foodie Pinoy saying goodbye and it's a wrap!